are you doing there, Ken? Uh, swapping wheels out. We're swapping with some wheelies. Normally, I drive up here on them, but those are on their last leg. Well, you, I had yeah, to buy three a hour trip. set just to have tires to race on, and they're about on their last leg. Are they? I didn't drive them up here and waste them away. Oh, yeah, they're about done. <laughs> All you got to do is go fast this weekend, and then you can throw them in the garbage. We got mine over here. We're all stickered up. The plan is to get kicked out of an NMRA. That's that's my ultimate goal. Is we're here chasing low nines, high eights. We'll see what it does. The DA is great right now. The weather is perfect. It's like 58 or something like that degrees. It's great. But hopefully, hopefully this will be it. We shall see. Yes, we got the car fixed. We put an axle back in the car. All is good to go. Both of us, me and Speed Addict 731 are running the Hell Horse Performance Twin Turbo Kit. Mine are a little bigger, his are a little smaller, but his spool a little faster, hey, hey, so hey. hey. No, I love I love the car. I, I need to do a review on it because it feels so much different. Anyway, continue to subscribe. Hey, By the way, we hit 33,000 subscribers. Thank you all so very much. I really appreciate it. But hopefully in this video, we will have another personal best in the Twin Turbo Mustang. Very excited. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get Mine's already teched in, you gotta get teched in. He's gotta get stickered up. We're waiting on them to call up to test and tune because we're gonna be doing True Street. I've already gotten busted because I have no cage. Yes, I know I need one. And uh, because he asked how fast the car was, and I was honest. I should, I guess I should have lied, but you know, I was honest. <laughs> Always tell them it's maybe, uh, maybe 10 Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fast, I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> we've been 9.5 with a soft, Almost 1860 foot in the car already so far a couple of weeks ago at 100 and almost 55 mile an hour. Are pretty crazy. So, no two step. We do have it working, we think. I don't know. Well, I don't even care about winning. I just want to go fast, honestly. So then they'll tell you you're disqualified because you don't have the appropriate safety equipment, which you do need a cage. I do. I do need a cage. Yeah. I did buy a, a fire jacket. Finally. I'm already looking at one for this car. Yeah. You bought a fire jacket? I did. Yeah, you need one. Yep. And you need to put a uh, bracket in there with a small fire extinguisher. Yep. Yep. Yeah. At that speed, man, a lot of stuff can go wrong. Yeah, it can. Well, knock on wood, we'll do all right today. So. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, you're going to do fine. Yeah. The air is promising. It's under a 1,000 feet DA right now. Doesn't really feel like it, but, I mean, the internet doesn't lie, right? So, this is the first pass, and it's turned up. So, hopefully, hopefully, the two-step will work. Second gear leave. We got it set at about 3,400 RPM, and uh, this might be it. So, we got to give it a good burnout. Tire pressure is good, the air is good, everything is lined up for about 16 and a half to 17 pounds of boost. We're gonna full send this car and hopefully bring home another personal best. Every time we come out here, it's like a new new it's like a new personal best. So hopefully we'll cross our fingers. my car doing I hate this car Accidents happen and it's it's a busy time, you know, it's an MRA, so this is really not unfortunately the best event to really practice, but I mean I felt confident that we should be able to I, it's just whatever. So we're gonna try again tomorrow in the morning, hopefully, and we can get this down. So I don't know if two steps gonna work. I don't know. Like I was feeling I felt in my blood like this was this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the eight second pass. Um, and unfortunately I just embarrassed myself in front of a thousand people. It happens, we've all been there. So 
<laughs> well, you did too. So his car had a little boo-boo and broke up. So he had to let out too. So I don't feel so bad. The car didn't want to shift into the next gear. Don't know why, but uh, yeah, as soon as it broke up, I let out and coasted down the track. I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's embarrassing, but you know, we live and learn and we will try to improve on this tomorrow. But this is just me thinking off the top of my head, kind of what happened. Um, just an adventure, guys. We will get it. In this video, I don't know. Just keep watching. But, um, yeah, a little frustrated right now because we, unfortunately, don't get to do another pass tonight. So we got to wait a whole other day, get another pass, and then we'll see what happens. We're going to see if I can actually get this to work. See what it does. Oh, so, yeah, car seems fine. It just didn't want to shift. I don't know what went wrong over here that pass but it's going to drive so we're second gear tune now squeeze engage let go and it's in reverse so i don't all right let's try this again see I, it's not working you see what i'm saying you're gonna die i know it's it's shouldn't spin. Okay, old man. Yep. The throttle. Yep. No, that's in reverse. It's in drive. Look, it's in drive. I understand. I'm just saying what it did. Yeah. It's just not working. Is it spinning in reverse or drive? It, it, the car was going back. I know. Yeah, we'll try it over there. Okay. Uh, it's just not. I'm gonna have to go with first gear, man. Let me try it. Okay. Now I ain't gonna do nothing different than you did doing. Yeah, you're welcome to try it. Absolutely, I'd love to see this. Battery come disconnected on her. <laughs> did it? See your reverse. See what I'm saying? It just—it's not working. Was you holding the brake first? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing. So we'll load the other one. My reverse light don't come on. All right, so we got another tune loaded. We're going to give it a shot. Problem is, it's a first gear leave tune. Oh, did I lose drive? Bro. C manual. Alright, put it back on board. <sighs> if it don't fix it, just reflash the same thing. Shift solenoid stuck. What does that mean, Ken? You're the you're the expert. Not good at racing. Shut, shut this car off and turn the key back on. Yeah. Reverse is working. Back and drive. I feel a shift. See, watch. Watch yep. your gears. Yeah, I see it. First. All right, now let off the brake. Keep a little gas. Not a lot, just a little. I'm on the. I'm, I'm giving it like 50% right now. Not nah, that. Nah, you're done. Go ahead, turn it off. Turn the key back on. Turn the key back on. The only thing we can try is transmission relearn. That's the only thing we can try. So you're going in reverse when you engage your trans brake. Yes. So that means that your forward gear ain't, ain't ain't working. Right. So. All right. So we're in drive. First gear. Nothing. All right. Try disconnecting your battery first. If that'll do it, reflash the same tune. I just reflash the same tune, and that's right. Well, that's the only thing we can try. Damn, this transmission is coming out. I'm so done with this. Sh so all the way down here, is it fine, right? It's fine. It's been perfect. And then you try to. We broke an axle, fixed it all day. You know, just drive. I was on the street doing hits. We were testing a two-step on the street. It did great. Everything was perfect. Second gear, and then out here, it goes crazy. Dude, my wife's gonna kill me. You put a brand new valve body in. All brand new valve body. Yep. With all new solenoids. Yep. 
New clutches, new valve body, everything is great. Everything is new. I know, because I got a What happened is this car's a piece of sh Okay, I might have to bleep that one out. No, not really. Anyway, guys, his transmission said no more. You said bye bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.